Body bags will whore lies. Hey, I'm Sam. I'm your Thursday guy for body bags, and this week I am doing Beowulf. Probably could have said that better. Nice, pretty solid movie. Now, give it. It's not exactly a horror movie, but I feel if I, if there are elements in the movie that are like, whoa, that's scary. Whoa, that's like, oh my god, wow. Um, so I felt that it could work. It should be able to work, right? I mean, it's not a movie that I. I it's not a movie I think a kid should watch, because they're. There's blood, gore, and then, a, you know, a little other stuff. But anyways, point. Pretty good movie. So, gist of the movie is that there's this village. And there's this monster that attacks the village. And, um, kills a lot of the um, people that live there. And so they, uh, the, vil the king, not that he hires, but like, has this bounty, I guess, on the, uh, on the monster, and our hero, Beowulf, comes in and is like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill your monster, and you know, you know. yeah, that's basically it, um, it's like the 13th warrior, but a little bit different, still like a Viking kind of theme, tone, uh, or maybe not exactly Viking, more probably like Nordic, but anyway, point is this movie was pretty good right it's uh, about two hours long and there's like two time periods in this movie where like Beowulf is um where he's you know younger guy and then like 50 years later when he's like an old man pretty good movie uh, Anthony Hopkins is in this movie he plays uh, the king when a uh, Beowulf is young pretty cool pretty cool um there's a couple other people that are in it that are like, oh, you know, I remember that guy from that one thing. But uh, anyway, Beowulf, pretty good movie. Um, I'm not sure if I would watch it again. Probably not, unless I'm trying to make a Viking movie myself and I'm just watching different Viking movies. And then you know, this would just be one of those that I would watch to get like my head wrapped around what I'm going to do. But, um, in the end of the day, yeah, pretty good movie, Beowulf, pretty good movie, um, it's, it's, a um, it's, a uh, cartoon-ish, I guess, it doesn't look like, you know, 2D, it's 3D, uh, cartoon, I mean, you know, it looks like it's trying to be people, it looks like it's a video game kind of thing, I thought that was pretty cool, that, um, you could animate, um, you can animate a movie and it looks like it's a, a video game. Like a really good newer kind of video game. Like, oh, I'm watching God of War. You know, whatever. But um, anyway, I'm Sam. I'm your Thursday guy for body bags. I did Beowulf this week. And if I had to rate this movie right now, I would get give this movie... Sorry. I would give this movie a 7.2. It's a pretty solid movie. Not that, not that many problems with the movie, to be honest. The only, like, problems with the movie is the s excess stuff that's in it. It's like, it does, it's like stuff that doesn't need to be in the movie, but it's like, okay, whatever. And not that there's, like, something in it. It's more like suggestive kind of themes, I guess. But, uh, anyway... I would say don't let your kid watch it unless he or, or he or she or he watches, I don't know, stuff that has way worse things in it, I guess, I don't know. Anyways, I'm Sam, I'm your Thursday guy for Body Bags. I did Beowulf, gave it a 7.2. And I'll see you next week. Goodbye.